I, you know, I don't know what the first four or five minutes was all about. We, we missed a lot of layups. Maybe that was nerves, you know, but uh, we didn't take fault or issue in the shots that we were getting or, or how we were attacking. We just we just missed some some easy buckets, but um, you know this group was incredible in their spirit to come back. And our second half, uh, as, as much as we jumped them, was was incredible to see. Will that stick with you? Do you think that what you guys did after you know, the last thirty six minutes of the game, what could have happened? Yeah, yeah, I think that has been a signature of this group. And um, I, I really do. I think that uh, that competitive spirit, that will, has been as much a, it's defined this group as much as anything, really, uh, when, when you think about it. Um, whether it's coming back, you know, against Michigan or whatever the case may be, they just, they stay with it. And um, been very few times this year that I could say I was disappointed with uh, that part of who we are. Is that something you think can come to define the program, even if you are losing guys like JT and Kata and Cam and, and Andrew? It better. You know? It better or else we get we got the wrong guys assembled. Um, that better be what we're about. Um, um, because that's, uh, and that's what we're, certainly what we're looking for in guys when we, when we recruit them. Um, you know, listen, we'll, we'll probably have some thoughts on, on what our future uh, will look like. I'm not sure that now's, uh, I don't want to put too much thought in that, but absolutely, that needs to be one of the things that defines us as a program, for sure. What did um, what did those guys say, the older guys in this in the room after you, after you guys lost the game? Well, it was it was what you'd expect uh, from a group that really cares. You know, um, I've been fortunate to coach a lot of uh, groups that care, and, and this one really, really cares at a really high level. They said some really meaningful stuff. You know, we had we had we had the seniors uh, speak. We didn't have them. They 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 volunteered and spoke. Uh, it was emotional. We were all emotional. Um, every year, I think, hey, I'm I'm not going to get emotional. We're gonna we're gonna handle it. And it never happens. Um, so it was emotional for all of us because uh, you know they put a lot of investment into this group and and they had they had a great time. They had, they had a lot of fun. Kato, one of those guys that spoke, and where do you guys go from here, trying to that process? Play yeah, out? yeah. Well, he was, he was, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll sit down with he and his family here in a week or so. You know, there's there's no rush to um, you know to get into that. We'll, he'll spend some time with his family, and then we'll sit together with his with his family. What did you tell this group after after the game? I think we, we I just spoke for the coaching staff and told them how proud to coach them we were. Um, uh, and I really believe that this group, the, these older guys, set a standard when it comes to leadership that the, that the younger guys need to make sure that they remember. Um, uh, we weren't always perfect as coaches or players, but the consistent standard that they set as leadership, I think, is, is a good model for our younger guys. How much of, of this season is due to that, those four guys, that senior class? I mean, how do you respond? If I put a percentage on it, it's just about all of it, you know, just about all of it. Um, they, they certainly had to embrace us and, you know, and listen, I mean, you know, we had to prove to them that we were, yeah, I think you always do that, prove that you can put them in the right position and help them be successful and help them win games. And when that happens, usually the, they trust you a little more. In your coaching career, is this one of the more unique groups you've ever been around? Um, I think this group um, has maybe reached, I don't, I don't mean it's hard to say, but has maybe reached, uh, uh, consistently reached a potential, um, maybe as much or more than any group I've ever coached. Certainly as much. Uh, it's hard to know comparing it to other teams. But, um, um, you know, we were six minutes away from one Sweet 16. Uh, and it's hard to get there. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll I'll reflect back on this and try to figure out if there's anything we could have done to help them get there. For what this team was able to do this season, just how proud are you of everything they accomplished and what they had to overcome? I couldn't be more proud. Literally, I could not be more proud of a group. I, I just could not be more proud of a group. Um, you know, it was not, and they were, I could count on one or two fingers the number of times I was disappointed with this group in terms of 
competitive spirit, effort, connectedness, you know, uh, could not be more proud of this group. It was